cargo truck that should get you through security and into LAX. I've arranged for a small distraction. If it comes together, it should open a small window of opportunity. You make my job too easy. Just respecting my elders. And if anybody sees you, you've lost your ride and the mission's over before it begins. You've always had a talent for the obvious, Lambert. All right, Fisher. You're inside LAX. You're kidding. That was way too easy. Basically, we've got gaps in the armor. And you're not the only visitor that slipped through. Soth. And the last MD-133. And a handful of hired mercenaries disguised as LAX employees. I'd be willing to bet they're still fresh from a smallpox vaccination, so you may be able to ID them by their higher than normal body temperature. Great. Grim, you got anything on how they're communicating? Yeah, it's an ultra-wide band, local network, node-based. They've got ten members online, including Soth. Then we're looking at nine terrorists you're going to need to neutralize before you find Soth. If all of Soth's men have been vaccinated for smallpox within the last 10 days, then it's a safe bet they're running a few degrees hotter. What's up guys? This is the final mission in our Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow walkthrough. This is mission number 8, LAX International. So this mission here took me quite a bit of time to actually figure out. Um, it's just one of those missions that uh, when you do it, you're not going to get it right. When you go through it so just follow what i do and you shouldn't have any issues but uh it's all rng based especially up in this next section but uh i was able to get it done and hopefully you guys are able to do the exact same thing that i'm doing uh if you if you notice i have the pistol actually ready to go that's because you're going to need that to take these terrorists out so and i use the thermals to actually show you uh which ones you have to take out So this section here, you're just going to stand in this corner up against these boxes and you're basically just going to wait on this guy to come right past and uh, you don't want to go up and grab him right now because that guy right there will actually hear it and he'll come and investigate. So let this guy get ahead of you just a little bit and uh, you can pretty much just knock him out and then if he's in this corner just leave him here and you can take him out. Make sure you use the laser to take them out and you know that they're actually taken out based on the envelope. Somebody there. So just keep moving. The guy's not going to spot you because you took out the light so he can't see you. And uh, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to see. But uh, that's why we use the night vision a lot more in this last level. So... And as you can see, there's another guy right there. So this section of pet is a lot more RNG based. Um, so, and I'll explain that right here in a second. So you're going to shoot this light. It's going to get a distraction. And you can get up and grab this guy. So what I like to do is actually just take this guy all the way to this back corner here. And uh, you can take him out with the uh, pistol. So, And that was like a weird little glitch there. So those two are having a conversation. And one of the guys that we have to take out, which is this guy, actually heard it and uh, all you got to do is just knock him out and then take him out now that is totally uh, random um, sometimes he can hear you shoot and sometimes he won't so just make sure that when you take him out the mail sign is blinking and uh, you should be good to go we have one more guy to take out in this section up here now 
I recommend when you get up here to shoot this light out. Just so you don't get caught. So this would have been a perfect opportunity to take out this guy right here. But because the cop is up here, I didn't have that chance. So just wait for him to go by. He'll bump into that guy right there. Then he'll just keep going. So this guy up ahead is one of the guys we got to grab. I could have grabbed him. But I just did not want to run that risk of that cop actually seeing me do something or one of the workers uh, spot me in, in any way. Because uh, you only have one alert on this level. So you want to make sure that everything that you actually do here um, is timed perfectly. And I use the thermals once again to show you which guy we're going to be taking out and it's this guy with the security outfit on and it's not the cop or that guy right there so So if you notice that cop noticed something, it's basically because that guy is not there. Because we just shot him. So I was afraid that this cop was actually going to end up going all the way around. So if that happens, just grab him and then knock him out. You don't have to kill him because he's not a target. So I feel Sam Fisher would not kill uh, a cop. He's not his target. So, And for good measure, just shoot out this light. That way the game doesn't come back and try to say, oh, you um, didn't hide a body. So, so this section up ahead here is basically simple. There's luggage and uh, all you're going to do to get past this one guy is just literally stay crouched and just stay on the conveyor belt and you'll basically move right along. If you are in the right position that I am, he's not going to notice anything because you're just above that one meter and then it goes straight down. So even though there's light right here, um, they cannot see you whatsoever if you're right here. I don't even think you can take this guy out, but I mean, you might be able to. I'm not really sure, but I recommend you just stay where the uh, where I'm at. And you can get past that guy. Especially if you don't save the checkpoint. I went through this whole section and I didn't save the checkpoint up until the actual next part. So just make sure that when you're going through it that you end up doing the same thing. And I switch over to the ring air four round. So that way we could take out the guard up ahead. I tried a couple of different ways to take him out. It's just one of the ways that I did it when I ran past, he saw me and he raised an alarm. So, I basically ended up taking him out with both f four of the air ring rounds. Uh, I only had to use two of them, I believe. But because this conveyor belt can give you some issues, uh, it may take you a few times. Now, if you do take this guy out, I recommend that you... shoot out the light also and the light source is in here so you can move up it's just right there as you can see and uh, the, <laughs> the conveyor belt gives you a lot of problems because it's it's always moving so it's gonna take you a little bit of time to focus the shot and then take out the light but once you shoot out the light you're fine so if you're quick enough you could probably get by that guy if you have the correct shot but I just wanted to play it safe and not uh, have an alert go off so who have infiltrated the waiting zone in the office area. Fisher, you cannot leave any terrorists behind. 
This will jeopardize the rest of the mission. So this is the final part, and what you're going to do here is just use the SWAT turn and wait for this guy to sit down, as he will give you away, and then it cause an alert. So just move very, very quietly through this section and use the SWAT turn every single chance you get. And we're going to wait on this guy right here, as he's one of the guys we have to take out, so... Step out for a second. No problem. I can cover things here. So wait on this guy to use the keypad code, and you can get up behind him, grab him, and then knock him out, and you don't got to worry about nothing. So. Question exactly. I hope your answers are so apt. Where's Soth? Where's the ND 133? Oh, Soth. Poindexter Penguin, whatever he told you his name was. Where's your employer? Whatever you know won't help you. By the time you reach him, it'll be too late for all of you. Ah! Now they have a whole other lengthy conversation and all that stuff, but um, there's really no need to listen to it. I mean, you're going to take them out anyway, and I had to do this section over like a bunch of times. So there's one of those cameras you can't shoot out. I recommend you just shoot out the lights here. And you should be good to go. So when you knock him out, make sure you actually grab the satchel and then open up the door. Do not hit the light switch. It will mess everything up. Because the guy that's on the phone in there, he will get up to investigate as to why the light switch is off. Now this guy's not a knockout or required, but because I'm going to be shooting out these lights over here, I recommend that you just knock him out so he's not a problem. Otherwise you can go over to the room and uh, get through it that way, but it makes it a lot harder. So I'd rather just do it this way. It's a lot more easier. And if you don't know where to stand in the other room... You can get caught. I mean, I know where to stand, but I just rather do it this way. I felt it was a lot quicker. So, just make sure your aiming is on. It may be off a little bit because it takes time for that to fill up. Once that gauge fills up, uh, Sam can hold his breath, and uh, at that point, he can steady his aim like a sniper, and basically focus his shots to do what you need it to do. Now shooting out all those lights including those last two um, will get these two guards to come this way and that's fine because you want to be able to head down the escalator and you have to spot uh, 
the guy and use your uh, thermos before you can continue on so and you have one of those cameras you cannot shoot out so as you can see here comes both these guys they're both gonna come out and they're gonna start walking this way so you don't really even have to worry about them they can't see you anyway so So this section here, um, you're going to switch over to your camera jammer and uh, you have to use this otherwise you will be seen by the camera and you'll raise an alert and have to do this, do this whole section over again. So if you don't want to have to do this whole section over again, then use the camera jammer. And you should be good to go. And You've completed this section. Now it's time to take out the last three guys that we have to take out, and they are mandatory kills. So. Alright, here we are. This is the final section. I skipped the last section because all you're doing is climbing up this elevator and it's pretty self-explanatory. So I don't feel that I have to show you guys climbing up the escalator or up the elevator um, because it's pretty easy to do. So, so you're just going to shoot this light out. Once you shoot this light out, you're going to shoot this light over here. As you can see, it got all three of their attentions. You want their attentions in order to take them out the way I'm going to take them out, which is non lethally, of course. And then we have to basically take them out because we have a timer. And that's just how it is. And you only have, like, I think a minute to do so. So switch over to your sticky shockers and take them out accordingly. So we're going to start with this guy over here. Then we're going to take out the main guy and take out the last guy. So as you can see, we have a timer. Now, I did not see this ladder here. I could have used it, but I just didn't see it. So, And we don't have enough time anyway. So this guy was in my way. So all you have to do is just elbow him. Um, and he's knocked out, basically. Um, I don't look at this as an alert because there is no alarm that they can raise, obviously. So we only have 30 seconds on the timer. Um, I believe even if you take all three of them out anyway, the timer is going to go off, from my understanding. So, luckily we were able to take them all out. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. And um, I'll see you guys on Chaos Theory. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, take care. Peace. got the box. We still have 11 minutes on the timer. Damn, damn, damn. That's five less than we were counting on. Even my Osprey, we couldn't get it safely out of LA city limits. We need something to seal it in. It would have to be reinforced steel to withstand the force of decompression. We'll evacuate the airport. That should keep casualties below a thousand. Fisher, maybe you can get low fast. If the box decompresses inside some kind of containment in the basement, we may be able to get casualties down to the dozens. I've got a better idea. <laughs>